Hi, Linda here from Jewelry Maker. Um, this time on this um, video, I am going to show you how to create the most stunning hoop earrings using the findings and the beautiful peach baroque pearls contained in the kit. Um, the earrings, very simple to make, but in my book, I think they're incredibly beautiful. The little pearl, well, it's not so little actually, this huge baroque pearl here dangling with a little nestling here of um, the little rose gold plated sterling silver balls that are contained in the kit and along here with a longer drop um, using again the uh, the little balls but also I've just popped on here um, a little peach coloured Swarovski 4mm bicone which I happen to have at home in my stash. So to make these earrings you will need your earring finding one of the beautiful uh, long extra long head pins seven of the little balls a little jump ring which i think is a five mil jump ring one of the pearls and i've added here um just five of um the rose gold silver plated featherweight head pins which I've got at home in my stash now if you haven't got any of those don't worry use the sterling silver the rose gold plated sterling silver head pins that are included in the kit right uh, to make these earrings you need to pop your pearl let me those out of the way a little you need to put use using your extra long head pin with a little beautiful flat cap on the end which is ideal pop on your pearl then with your round nose pliers about three or four mil from the tip of the plier get some purchase on the pliers right down on top of that pearl and push away okay that's pushing away through 90 degrees hold the pearl flick your wrist forward and then bring right on top of the pearl here bring your head pin back through 180 degrees and putting some pressure just there on the plier. You then have what I've always called my question mark. Pop your round nose pliers back in where they fit again, three or four mil down the plier, push down towards the pearl, and then taking the head pin firmly, twist around from the top, keep twisting and twisting and twisting and you will see that you will create a beautiful little bead cap on the very top of that pearl can you see there's a little bead cap now on top of the pearl push it around as far as it'll go and then just taking your cutters just take off that little bit of excess on the end and then you can just push that little end in and tidy it up it may need a little bit more of a trim and then you've got your lovely pearl with a little um, gorgeous rose gold sterling silver um, bead cap sitting there nicely on the top. The next thing that you need to do is to create these little um, the little flourish of the little balls that go also on dangling on top of the pearl. So to do this, it's exactly the same, but this time I'm using my um, Featherweight head pin, but as I say, you can use the head pins included in the kit. Exactly the same thing. Pop on the little ball onto your head pin and let it drop down to the little stopper here at the end. Just move that out of the way. And then again, with your round nose pliers, again, two or three mil down from the tip of your plier, push away. Flick your wrist round, bring it back, put plenty of purchase here. Question mark stage, take your plier out, pop it back where it fits, and then again, just twist around the neck on um, the residue of that head pin there. You don't particularly want to cover that gorgeous um, rose gold little ball there. And snip off. Now you need to make five of those, okay? So here... I have got four of its little friends and there is my jump ring which I will attach to the pearl. 
But first of all, I just want to make um, the Swarovski dangle, okay, which will which will drop lower than the the rest. That it's excuse me, it will drop lower than the pearl. So I've just popped on. If you can see there, I've just popped on my peach coloured Swarovski four mil bicone just onto the end again of my um, featherweight head pin. But again, you can use the head pins included in the kit. Now I'm going to do exactly the same technique where I'm going to pop in um, my nice wrapped loop. So I'm going to push away, hold the bicone, push away, over the top, fit it back where it fits, and then just a couple of twists around on that neck of the residue of the head pin. So I've got my, now I've got my lovely little bicone attached. Now again, I'm using my featherweight, but again, sorry to keep repeating, but you can use the head pins included in the kit. I'm going to pop one of these onto the featherweight head pan, the head, head pan, head pin, so it drops down to the bottom of the featherweight head pin. And then again, but this time I'm going to take my wrap loop right up towards the tip of the head pin. So around a couple of inches from the base of the head pin, again, do a wrapped loop. Again, just a couple of little twists around the head pin and snip off. Then let the little ball drop down to the wrapped loop. And then using the residue of the head pin, again, two or three mils down the plier, around those plier, push away and bring over the top through your 180 degrees. Pop back the pliers where they fit. Rewind. Before you pop the pliers back where they fit, we will just trim off the little bauble on the top. And we will, before completing that wrap loop, we're just going to pop it in to the wrap loop on the Swarovski bicone. Okay, let that dangle. Let gravity do uh, its work. Push that little ball away. Pop your round nose pliers back in, making sure that the bicone, the Swarovski bicone here, is sitting, nestling inside that loop. Trap it with your round nose pliers, pull that little ball away from it, and then again, just a couple of twists of that wrapped loop. Then snip off. So now we've got our bicone attached to one little ball. Now it's repetition now. We're going to take our second little ball and pop that, let it drop down to its little stopper. Again, a couple of inches up the head pin, a couple of mils in on the pliers, push away and make your wrapped loop in exactly the same way as previously done. Chop off a little bit of the residue and let the little ball drop down as it's dropped down onto that wrap loop there. Again, with your round nose pliers, halfway stage with the wrap loop, push away. Flip the wrist round and pull back and give that a good press so that we get a nice round. Snip off the little ball on the end of your head pin and then again, exactly the same way, pick up the um, detail with the Swarovski on and again, pop through that previous wrap loop, let gravity take its course and let that the detail here drop into that wrapped loop pop your pliers back sandwich in other words make sure that that's locked into the loop pull down towards the little ball and again twist around and drop off the excess and that is that little part of detail now completed. All it is now is just to assemble um, the the pearl detail all together to go on to the earring finding. So we take our 
flat nose pliers and our jump ring. We open the jump ring north to south and we pop on our pearl. Okay, so the pearl's now dangling center in the open jump ring. So picking up all of the little balls, we've got one we pop on, then we'll pop on the second one. Now we've got we've got an even number of these little dangles here. So I'm now going to pop on this side the Swarovski detail. Pop that on. Now I'm holding very carefully. I'm just going to take my pliers round to the other side of the jump ring. So now I've got this empty side here, and now I'm going to pop on the remaining three of the little rose gold gorgeous little balls and close my jump ring very firmly making sure that that is nicely closed so that those if you are using your featherweight head pin the featherweight head pins will find a way out if there's a little bit of a gap there um, so make sure that that is nicely closed then it's just a matter of taking this gorgeous hoop which incidentally is just as beautiful in its little naked form as it is with any form of embellishment to open it you just pull on this narrower part here open that up and then I'll pick up my jump ring with my flat nose pliers and then pop onto the earring so that's slid on quite beautifully and pull back slightly and pop it back in there and that is what I think is a very on trend, beautiful Baroque pearl, rose gold, sterling silver earring. You could use that actually as a pendant if you wanted to, but uh, obviously make the other earring exactly the same. And I think you're gonna find that those are a pair of earrings that would set you back quite a lot of money on the high street. Hope you enjoy it. I've loved every second of it. See you soon, bye.